Hi everyone, my name is Nock. Welcome to this new CADRO tutorial. In this video, I'll share with you an amazing tool that was developed by the team recently, the VS Code extensions for CADRO. If you're already familiar with CADRO, you know that it's a framework that helps you to create maintainable, modular, and reproducible data science code. Now, with the CADRO VS Code extensions, your workflow becomes even more efficient. In the following, I will introduce some of the key features, including the hovering functions for instantly previewed datasets and parameters. You also have the auto completions features that helps you to create pipeline much faster. And then you also have the enhanced code navigations functions that allows you to jump from a pipeline files to a configuration file with a mouse click. It also comes with a static data catalog schema validation features, which can catch errors such as the typo before you actually run a cadre pipeline. And last, using the VS Code UI and the commands to switch between different cadre configuration environments. So let's get started. Cool. The first thing that I want to show you is the hovering features. You can now open any of the pipeline file in your project and simply move your mouse over some of the nodes. For example, if I hover on the model input table, it will instantly show me the configuration that was used to create this specific data set. It also works for parameters, so it gives you a very convenient way to look at your pipeline without jumping between too many files. The next thing that I want to show you is the auto completion features. Again, we're going to open the pipeline file and try to modify it. In this case, you need to hit the double code to trigger the auto completions. It will then automatically populate all the datasets and parameters that exist in your cadre projects. For example, if I want to filter something, start with R, I can hit the key and then it will filter everything that matches. So in this case, I want regressor, I'll just hit enter and then finish my auto completions. So this allow creating pipelines much faster compared to before. One of the things that we heard a lot from our user is that configuration is great, but it's hard to edit a cadre pipeline for a big project because there's a lot of configuration files. This is a lot easier now. You can open the pipeline files and use the go to definition feature which can directly lead you from a pipeline file towards a configuration file. There's two ways to do it. You can use the right click and then use the go to definition functions to go to the definitions. Alternatively, which is the way that I prefer, you can simply hold your command or control key, depending on your VS Code settings. It will then highlight a particular data set indicating that this is something that you can actually click into. So when I click into it, it will jump to the company's data set. If I hold my command key and hit the mouse click again, it will then show me all the references um, in pipeline that uses this particular data set. Then I can quickly jump back um, to the previous page. Another problem that our users mentions is that Often they need to update the data catalog, but only find out later during a very long pipeline run that they have made a simple typo in the catalog file. To address this, we have added a new experimental feature that allows users to validate their catalog statically. For example, if you have typo in your catalog now, it will highlight that this is not a valid casual dataset immediately. So this could help users to catch error early on before even executing a cadre pipeline. The last thing that I want to show you here is how to use the VS Code UI and command to change your cadre configuration environment. When you are using features such as hovers or go to definitions, it will bring you to the base folder by default, which is the default environment for cadre. But sometimes you may want to use some other environments, such as the productions environment in this case. There's two choices. You can either use the cadre command, 
which is the first one to select the correct environment that you're interested. Alternatively, you can also just click this little casual icon in the bottom, which bring up the same drop down selections. Once you change the environment, the server will restart in the background. And if I do the same action now, it should bring me to the production environment instead. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and you will find the extensions helpful. If you have enjoyed the video, please share this with your friends and like the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorial to come. See you next time.